Another question, is there any nawafil salah after every obligatory salah? Nawafil, let me explain you. There is something called sunan ar-rawatib. Sunan ar-rawatib. Sunan ar-rawatib here means the salah which are these nawafil prayers which are attached with the obligatory prayers. For example, two rakah before fajr. Two plus two before zuhar and two after zuhar. Now it is eight rakah. There is no salah before asr or after asr. Two rakah after maghrib. Two rakah after isha. How many now? Twelve. There are some of the hadith which says that there is two plus two before asr. There is from the nawatib. And it is not from sunan rawatib. It is not from sunan and rawatib. Is it clear now? Any prayers after this sunan rawatib, for example, surah al duha Salat uh, al-Duha after sunrise, Salat al-Ishra, two rakat, Salat al-Duha can be prayed two plus two plus two plus two until twelve. You can pray inshallah, no problem. Or any rakat, for example, I'm just sitting now and uh, it's two thirty here and I get up and pray nawafil, two rakat nawafil, allowed. So you can pray any number of nawafil. For example, when you go for Juma, when you go for Juma, you have to pray two rakat Salat al-Tahit al-Masjid. Then some of the Sahaba radiallahu anhu, they used to pray 2 plus 2 plus 2 until the Imam comes. It is allowed inshaAllah. So these are all considered as Nawafil. Am I clear about this now? So we differentiate between Sunan Rawatib and we differentiate between Nawafil. So any Nawafil can be prayed at any time except those prohibited times which I mentioned in the Dars. Barakallahu alaykum.